Welcome back to Juice and Java. I know the entire Juice and Java crew is very excited about this one. There's an indie film hitting the big screen here in central New York. The title, Hundreds of Beavers. Mike Cheslick, director and star of the film, is here with me now. Hey, Mike, good morning. For those of us who don't know, tell us a little bit about the film and where did the idea come from? Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, the film is a silent movie and it's kind of a cartoon also, and it was made by my buddies in Wisconsin. So the idea really just came from available resources. And uh, we put together a movie that was all After Effects shots and uh, stunts with uh, friends from home in mascot costumes playing beavers getting tackled in the snow. So the idea, you know, like a good indie film is really just based on what you have and uh, didn't cost a lot, but has been making the rounds in a lot of theaters and we're excited to bring it to Syracuse. I know Syracuse students and the entire JJ crew is very excited to see it too. So you talked about the after effects too. How was the process behind the production of it? Well, um, the movie totally relies on a ton of after effects work and uh, that's a piece of software I learned in college that uh, been using for broadcasting for uh, I don't know 10 years now and finally got to apply it to something cool with this uh, movie we made so the movie is actually shot outside the snow in Wisconsin where we're from took 12 weeks to shoot but it also has tons and tons of effects and animation work that I did over years and uh, yeah it's uh, we've been playing it around the Great Lakes area and and uh, sh slowly uh, fiddling with it and now it's kind of ready for its big debut and um, I think it goes on streaming in a, in, a, in a week or so, but we're still going to be playing the movie in a lot of theaters because it's really fun with a crew. You got to see it like, a, you know, people used to do with a comedy. You'd go and watch it with a, with a big group of hopefully, you know, uh, drunk college kids, but we'll see. <laughs> um, I know we're all very excited to see it, but like, why is it important for us to be exposed to indie films? I know streaming is super important, but why go to the theater and actually see it? Now, I'm going to I'm going to go out on a limb and say that it's socially important that you see hundreds of beavers and that it will save the arts in America if you see our film. Uh, I think that uh, this is a film with an important message. All beavers must be destroyed. And um, I think we got to get the word out about these these guys. They're blocking our waterways. They're chewing our wood. They're ruining our infrastructure. And, uh, you know, you should all play your role in uh, bringing awareness to these monsters, and hopefully one day there will be no beavers left. Okay, well, just one second, Mike. I have to ask you something. What is this film about? Like, just give me, like, the general layout of what this film is about, because you're talking about all these hundreds of beavers got to go. So I'm interested, why do they have to? Well, there's a our hero in the story, Jean Kayak, the famous uh, French uh, fur trapper, who I'm sure you've all read about in school. <laughs> Uh, who founded some of the Great Lakes region. He is uh, on a mission to become the greatest fur trapper there ever was. And yeah. that mission coincides with my mission, which is the eradication of all beaver life in North America. Mike, that's great. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I know we're all very excited to see it. Thank you for having me. Thanks for getting the word out. It's at the Manlius. Uh, times are different every day, but it's there all week. So look up the, the times at the Manlius Theater. Awesome. Just 10, 15 minutes from campus. Thanks so much.